guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can kind of model a 3D bullet in Cinema 4D. Uh, as you see here, this is what we'll be creating. You can kind of change it so it's more, so it's longer, longer more, more of a stubby sort of bullet. Uh, but now we're just going to be kind of creating this, we're going to be using the splines and you're going to be surprised at how basic it is. So it's going to go to File New. And if you hit the little scroll in the middle of your mouse, it'll bring up these four sections. And yeah, my mouse is running out of batteries. Like so. So just click that and then go onto the front and click the middle of the scroll of the mouse again. Now we're going to go to the freehand tool. I'm going to go to B spline. Now where the, where the green vertical line is, we're going to go four from the left. Four to the left. And we're going to go three up. Kind of vertical in a straight line. And then we're going to just click just in the top corner here so it's bent and then drag it up. Now this is the back end of the bullet. So we're just going to create a nice curved so it's not so straight so it's more realistic. Then we're going to go three more past the green line in the opposite direction. So you click here. Try that straight line. And you kind of see how the bullet's forming. So this is the back and this is the front. And we're going to go two across and on the red line click and it'll create that curved scene. And now you can also drag it so it's that's annoying. So it's a stubby bullet. So it's kind of like a lanky sort of bullet. You know, it depends, depends what you're trying to aim for. Uh, that's looking quite nice. So that would be it. And this is a 2D bullet. Looks like it's kind of cut in half. Well, it's only half of it. So to save doing it again, all we're going to do is we're going to go to the Hypernerbs tab and go to Lath, Lath Nerbs. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but you know what I mean. Drag the spline as a child of the Lath Nerbs by by when it shows the down arrow and it will come up with all these weird lines and you don't know what to make of it yet but under the spline selected under the B in the B in the coordinates change it to minus 90 like so and you kind of see the bullet there there's the back and there's the front so if you click the middle scroll button again and go to perspective you'll see that here's your bullet now one thing I would like to do is I like to go to zoom and you can also change it by in fact, I'm going to rotate it first, 90 degrees, hold shift, so it's kind of horizontal. You can see how it would actually be when you start to use it. And that's looking a bit stubby, so I'm going to go to the lath nerves and this little scale tool. And I'm going to drag it a bit bigger, like so. And that's looking quite nice. So I'm just going to render that out. You've got the basic form of the bullet. Now, I'm not going to go, but you notice so it's like grey and white, and that's traditionally not the colour of bullets. You just kind of like a bronzy, metally, goldy sort of colour. So to do this, I'm just going to go to File, Shader and Nuki. I'm not going to go too into depth about the materials because it does involve a lot of textures, etc. But this way it works fine, you know, experiment. Uh, under the Nuki, go to Diffuse and go to like an orangey yellow colour like so. You can always change it later, of course. And drag that on for now. Let's see what we're see what it will be like. If the mouse is lagging it's because it's out of battery. It's lagging for me as well. And that's looking alright but you kind of see there's a hint of blue still in there from the new key so go down to specular 3 and change that to a kind of like a light yellow cream. Render that out and there you have it. You have a 3D bullet. You can also mess about with materials by just going to like reflection and colour gold etc. All of that kind of stuff now what have I just done god knows what I've just done clear reflection for now like so and you could probably just drag that on see what that's like uh, that's looking alright you know just play around the materials and like a, there's probably some bullet textures on the internet you know just add them in uh, but that's a model of 3d bullet thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys soon bye